Welcome to Nursing Online Education. A child who ingested 15 maximum strength acetaminophen tablets 45 minutes ago is seen in the emergency department. Which of these orders the nurse do first? Option A gastric lavage. Option B acetyl C stain for an age per pharmacy. Option C start and for dextrose with a 0.33% normal saline to keep vein open. Option D activated charcoal per pharmacy. And the answer is gastric lavage. Note the point. Removing as much of the drug is the first step in treatment for this drug overdose. This is best done by gastric lavage. The next drug to give would be activated charcoal, then mucomist and lastly the four fluids. Next question, which complication of cardiac catheterization should the nurse monitor for in the initial 24 hours after the procedure? Option A, angina at rest. Option B, thrombus formation. Option C, dizziness. Option D. Falling blood pressure. And the answer is thrombus formation. Here, note the point. The thrombus formation in the coronary arteries is a potential problem in the initial 24 hours after cardiac catheterization. And a falling BP occurs along with the hemorrhage of the insertion site which is associated with the first toll after the procedure. Next question. A client is admitted to the emergency room with a renal calculi and is complaining of moderate to severe flank pain and nausea. The client's temperature is 100.8 degree Fahrenheit. The priority of nursing goal for this client is Option A. Maintain fluid and electrolyte balance Option B. Control nausea Option C. Manage pain Option D. Prevent urinary tract infection And the answer is Manage pain Here note the point The immediate goal of therapy is to elevate the client's pain What would the nurse expect to see while assessing the growth of children during their school age years? Option A. Decreasing amounts of body fat and muscle mass. Option B. Little change in body appearance from year to year. Option C. Progressive height increase of 4 inches each year. Option D. Yearly weight gain of about 5.5 pounds per year. And the answer is yearly weight gain of about 5.5 pounds per year. Here, not the point. School age children gain about 5.5 pounds each year and increase about 2 inches in height. Next question. At a community health fair, the blood pressure of a 62-year-old client is 160 per 96. The client states, My blood pressure is usually much lower. The nurse should tell the client to Option A. Go get a blood pressure check within the next 48 to 72 hours. Option B. Check blood pressure again in 2 months. Option C. See the healthcare provider immediately. Option D. Visit healthcare provider within one week for a BP check. And the answer is go get a blood pressure check within the next 48 to 72 hours. Here are not the points. The blood pressure reading is moderately high with the need to have it rechecked in a few days. And the client states that it is usually much lower. Thus, a concern exists for complications such as stroke. And 
However, immediate check by the provider of care is not warranted. Waiting two months or week for follow-up is too long. Next question. A client has been newly diagnosed with hypothyroidism and will take levothyroxine 15 mcg per day by mouth. As part of the teaching plan, the nurse emphasized that this medication option A should be taken in the morning, option B may decrease the client's energy level, option C must be stored in a dark container, option D will decrease the client's heart rate. And the answer is should be taken in the morning. Here note the point. Thyroid supplement should be taken in the morning to minimize the side effects of insomnia. Next question. In children suspected to have a diagnosis of diabetes, which one of the following complaints would be most likely to prompt parents to take their school age children for evaluation? Option A. Polyphagia. Option B. Dehydration. Option C. Bed wetting. Option D. Weight loss. And the answer is bed wetting. Here note the point. In children, fatigue and wet wetting are the chief complaints that prompt parents to take their child for evaluation. A client comes to the clinic for the treatment of recurrent pelvic inflammatory disease. The nurse recognizes that this condition most frequently follows which type of infection. Option A. Trichomoniasis. Option B. Chlamydia. Option C. Staphylococcus. Option D. Streptococcus. And the answer is Chlamydia. Here note the point, chlamydial infections are one of the most frequent causes of salpingitis or pelvic inflammatory disease. When teaching a client with the coronary artery disease about nutrition, the nurse should emphasize option A, eating three balanced meals per day, option B, adding complex carbohydrates, option C, avoiding very heavy meals option D limiting sodium to 7 grams per day and the answer is avoiding very heavy meals the point eating large heavy meals can pull blood away from the heart for digestion and it dangerous for the clients with coronary artery disease Nurse is speaking at a community meeting about personal responsibility promotion. A participant asks about a chiropractic treatment for illness. What should be the focus of the nurse response? Option A. Electrical energy field. Option B. Spinal column manipulation. Option C. Mind body balance. Option D. Excess of joints. And the answer is spinal column manipulation. Here not the point. The theory underlying the chiropractic is that interference with the transmission of mental impulses between the brain and body organ produces disease. And such inference is caused by misalignment of the vertebrae. Manipulation reduces the subluxation. Next question. The nurse is performing a neurological assessment on a client post CVA. Which finding is observed by the nurse would warrant immediate attention? Option A. A decrease in the level of consciousness. B. Loss of bladder control. C. Altered sensation to stimuli. Option D. Emotional ability. And the answer is a decrease in the level of consciousness. Here not the point. 
a further decrease in the level of consciousness would be indicative of a further progression of the CVA.